Uh, my name is Jeremiah Vance. I'm a 10 Planet Brown Belt under Eddie Bravo. Uh, I've been training about a little over six years now, uh, and I've been with Eddie the last five. I grew up in Bellflower, and uh, right now I live in downtown LA, uh, pretty much right up the street from the gym. I started playing uh, baseball at a real young age. I did that till I was about 12. Let's see, when I was 12, I started skateboarding, but before that, um, when I was about four or five, I started playing baseball. I was playing Little League for, uh, shit, was that, about seven years. And from there, I started transitioning into skateboarding. Uh, I did that till I was about 18. Um, I, I did it at an amateur level. I was uh, skating for Element and Vans at the time. Um, and I was traveling all, all across the world, uh, skateboarding, doing demonstrations, and filming, taking photos for like Transworld Magazine, Thrasher Magazine, and uh, like 411 Video Magazine, stuff like that. I had a musket stop. <laughs> that wasn't for Fernandez either. Ah! Ah! I started working and whatnot, and uh, I think I was about like 25, 24 when I got into jujitsu, um, and I, I've been training ever since. So I started at a, at a Gracie affiliate, right? And uh, so, like the first, my first six months there, I was just doing it casually. I was going there maybe like like once or twice a week, and then I found I found Lockdown, or I found Eddie stuff on YouTube, right? And I started playing Lockdown and everything. And then uh, I went to class, and before before lockdown, it's kind of a common story, but before lockdown, my half bar would just it just be a matter of time before it got past and then mount it. But all of a sudden, I started playing lockdown. I'm like, man, now I really don't have much game from here. But now the guy can't pass my my half bar, you know. I started watching more videos. I started started playing electric chair and all that. And to be honest, I was a little bit bitter. I was like, man, I've been here for about six months, and you haven't shown me lockdown. Like, it's real basic. Like, like I was kind of mad. Like, why didn't they show me this, you know? I started watching more uh, Eddie Bravo videos on YouTube, and then I started playing Rubber Guard, and then eventually, maybe about like 10 and 12 months in at the at my original gym, I just made the switch. Oh yeah, so so competition. I, I've been in uh, I've been in a Rubber Guard pretty much since day one, since I found it, you know. Um, but I've been hitting the stuff that I'm showing in class every weekend is stuff that I'm I'm hitting on a consistent basis against high level guys in the gym and stuff that I'm hitting in competition. But today we had rubber guard class. Uh, we have rubber guard class every Sunday at, uh, at 1 p.m. and uh, it's pretty much just all technique. Sometimes we'll go semi-live for the last 15 minutes. Uh, me and Ben Eddie are rotating uh, every other Sunday. But lately things have been going uh, pretty decent. I was, in, uh, I was in Austin for a week, um, filling in for Curtis while he was on vacation. So I was at the Honor Academy. Uh, I was teaching there for a week. And I did a seminar on Friday and, and uh, also privates throughout the week. Um, and a and, uh, shout out to JM and Zach. They had me out in, uh, in Bethlehem. I was out there for a week uh, training with those guys and did a seminar. And then uh, recently I was, in, uh, I was in Mexico. I did three seminars in Mexico City. And then I did another one in, in uh, Cancun at a soon to be 10th Planet affiliate. Cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, shit, outside of jiu-jitsu is pretty much all I'm doing right now. Um, but what I really like is watching uh, battle raps, right? I really like watching battle raps, like any kind of poetry or spoken word. Uh, and I'm, I'm on uh, Instagram all day just looking at memes, man. I can't get enough of that. Yeah, but uh, so pretty much uh, rap battle-wise, it's, it's king of the dot right now. They're doing it real big. It's, it's pretty much like the NFL of battle rap. But I've been following battle rap since I was about, shit, maybe like... 13 years old when it was like enter the piff.com and like the original smack dvds you know so i so i do that a lot instead of kill time so shit musical artists there, there's so many of them but uh some of my favorite guys right now is going to be a uh, uh, big k um he's running he's from virginia he's, he's tough i like his style uh so big k ty law i think he's from uh, virginia you should check those guys out 
and uh, movie wise like like right now or is for a while the uh, gangs of New York that's pretty much my favorite movie I think they got the best wordplay and the, the most quotables nice yeah. cool man oh yeah cool brother yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take me to the doctor. Take me to the fucking doctor. I broke my back. I'll do all right here. Still with that? Oh, I can't feel my chin. Really hard. And your face. Oh, I can't feel my chin.